why did you get married so young no if you're looking for an influencer go over hi guys thank you for stopping by if you are new around here i am shay yep and that's me you can gaze into the future future if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back today is the much anticipated the long awaited the overly requested get to know me video so if you're interested in finding out more about me and answering these questions that you yourself asked of me then stick around let's roll the intro and get into these questions So I put out a poll, I think it's called, I don't think it's called a poll, no. But one of those things, one of those question thingies, I put them out on my Instagram, asking you guys to ask me any questions that you'd like and that I'd answer them here for you. So here are the questions. So the first question we have is, how are your 20s so far? My 20s. I mean, I'm just 25, so I've been in my 20s for five years so far so good am i where i expected to be or am i where i envisioned myself when i was younger no i mean when we're younger we have such high expectations of where we're going to be we have these dreams and these imaginations that things are going to be picture perfect and life isn't like that it just doesn't flow like that but am i happy where i am definitely certainly i have been blessed tremendously i have been given a lot of opportunities i have grown developed becoming more and more each day the person that i want to be so my 20s so far simple answer is it's been good the extended answer is <laughs> yeah <laughs> the next question why did you start a YouTube channel why did I start a YouTube channel so there are a number of reasons why I started a YouTube channel and if you are a Chinese subscriber or somebody who has watched my videos from the beginning which aren't much of them because I'm, I'm new to the YouTube space. But if you're someone who has watched my video from the beginning, you would know that I spoke about wanting to put myself out there more. I spoke about, you know, being an introvert and not getting the opportunities that I wanted or I hoped to get because I was always keeping myself in a corner and not speaking up or being outgoing. And so that's one of the reasons why I started a YouTube channel. I decided to start a YouTube channel. Reason number two why I also decided to start a YouTube channel is because I believe I am called for something. What it is, still figuring it out. But I cannot do what I'm called to do if I'm just by myself. And I believe I have a lot to offer. I believe I can help people in whatever way. I, my YouTube channel is supposed to be something that's motivational, really raw, uncut. I'm not here to be an influencer. I'm not here to influence anybody. <laughs> I'm just here to be me. And I hope to, you know, lead someone in the right direction by just being me. I'm here to not be one of those makeup guru girls. No. I am not here to be one of those extravagant lifestyle girls. No. I'm just here to be me, to grow in the eyes of whoever come across my channel. And so if that resonates with you, I hope that you can 
stick around because this channel is about me growing as a person but also growing with you my fellow subscribers where are you hoping to see yourself in five years five years time 30. Mm. i've always heard stories about the 30s like they always say when you're 30 you're not gonna be the same you're not gonna be doing this you're not gonna be doing that but i'm 30 i'm hoping to be a bigger better version of myself i am hoping to at least fulfill all the goals and all the dreams that i have set out and i have planned i want to travel the world i want to be financially free i want to work for me yeah that's the hope in five years work for me be comfortable be able to spend time with my family and be self-sufficient that's where i hope to see myself in five years what is the next question let's take a look in my book so why did you get married so young I got married so young for love and that's all I will say at this point I don't know why there is a stigma about getting married before you're 30 I don't know why there is a stigma about that but I got married for love I got married because I believe that the person that I am married to is the one that was made for me and so that is why I got married young and the next question which is a very short and weird one pants or skirt <laughs> pants or skirt blows are shirt <laughs> pants or skirt uh, I would say I can't pick I can't pick I can't pick I cannot pick pants or shirt or skirt. I cannot pick. Maybe I would. Okay, so I love dresses as opposed to skirts. So maybe in this case, I would pick pants. I would definitely pick pants. Why? I don't know. I just feel more comfortable wearing pants, but I do love a good dress. Skirts, I don't have much of that now. Used to wear skirts a lot though, and anybody who knows me from my college days and before, you know that I was always a skirt girl. You would never catch me wearing pants because of religious reasons, but I have grown and have come, to, come into my own and have made my own decisions. And now I am a pants girly, but I love a good dress. Love, love, love a good dress. So, that is the answer pants definitely pants what do we have next so the next question is if you could get a free trip to any country which country would you choose that's a hard one there are so many countries in the world like almost 200 countries in the world please don't quote me on that there could be more i am not google no, am I a school challenge quiz kid? Mm -mm. So. Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. Cause Google has confirmed it. Me is a bright girl. 195 countries in the world. Guess me guess that on my right. So all would you want? Seven and only a say. Anyways, I'm going to back to the video. I hope you're enjoying it. I could not pick one, but definite must countries for me. A lot of it is Thailand. I kind of like the Asian country, um, countries, so like South Korea, Japan, a lot of visitor countries. But if I was supposed to get a free trip to anywhere, I really do love Nigeria. I don't know, there's something about the Nigerian culture 
that sticks with me that I love. I love watching their movies. I love talking like them. I just love the culture. I love watching their vlogs. I just love the culture. So I would definitely be in Nigeria. I could see myself living there one day. So maybe, yeah, Nigeria. If I was supposed to be one. But there's so many countries in the world and I would love to be able to say that I've witnessed and experienced it all. What's next? What's next? What's next? Growing up, what did you imagine as a career? Growing up, I always knew that I wanted to do something in the media. So for those of you who don't know, I have a, a bachelor's degree in journalism. And I always knew that I wanted to do something in the media. I remember when I was younger, I would, I would always spend time writing. I would take my notebooks. I would take my notebooks and I'd always write stories, poetry, songs in them. I remember at one point I was using a tablet. My very first tablet that I got was using it to film a little <laughs> series. So I always knew I wanted to do something in media. The first thought was film. I wanted to do film. But when I researched film and how expensive it was, I opted to choose something that was as close as possible to it but was cost effective and so I chose journalism. The next question, do you have any hidden talents? No, I consider myself to be what they call a multi-potentialist, I believe the term is. I believe I can do whatever it is that I put my mind to and that's not to brag or to big myself up but it's something that I genuinely do believe that whatever there is that I put my mind to I believe I can do it. One of the things that I'm most passionate about though if we're, thinking, we're talking about talents I'm passionate I'm passionate about writing I'm definitely passionate about singing I really do love to sing and I used to could sing not so sure anymore because I don't I don't go on a stage and sing anymore. I used to do that and I don't anymore, so I'm not sure if I can anymore. But those are the things I would say are my talents that a lot of people in this new in in this space that I'm in now don't know about. <laughs> don't ask me to sing a song though, because like no, you can't put me on the spot. I just have to you just have to catch me doing it. One thing about yourself that you struggle with, I and this really does flow well from the previous question of hidden talents, I struggle with prioritizing. So I know I can do a lot and so it's hard to focus on doing just one thing. That's what I struggle with the most. So where I'm at now in my life is focusing on improving one niche, one skill, one talent, getting it to its max, then we move on to the next. And we get that to its max and we do it like that. So that's where I'm at now. What's the next question? So the next question is, what can we expect from your YouTube channel? Are you trying to be an influencer? <laughs> I answered that before. Uh, no, no. If you're looking for an influencer, go over. E, she, and a lady. That's not me. No, I'm not trying to be an influencer. I'm just here to be me and show me to where well. if you don't like it, you just don't like it. There's no harm. No hard feelings. None taken here. You can move on to the next. That's not what I'm here about. I'm here to build myself, put myself out to the world and hope while doing that, that I can help to uplift, motivate and grow with someone. All right? That's what I'm here for. I'm not an influencer. I'm not an influencer either, but I'm not an influencer. Okay. And we have one final question. I do believe. What do you like to do for fun? I'm looking for new hobbies and would like some ideas. Let's tie in to the hidden talents question. So what do I like to do for fun? I like to learn new things. 
up until late last year I was learning to play the piano so I was teaching myself how to play the piano bought a piano and everything <laughs> multi-potentialite bought a piano and everything and was teaching myself to play the piano I haven't given up on it I'll go back to it so I like to learn new things I was also learning to crochet I was teaching myself to crochet not the best but it's not perfect you know all the tricks and you know but I can do what I can do and that I love to write that is my passion that's my baby right there writing 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 that's my baby right there mm -hmm. I like to write I also like to read I'm not reading as much as I once used to you know or in the quantity that I once used to but I love to read because with the reading comes writing so I love to do that as well so learn new things, reading, writing, love to sing, I love to sing, love to sing, love to sing, I sing, whenever I get a chance to, if I'm not talking, I'm singing, and I don't talk a lot, so that tells you. So to close things off and to wrap things up, hi, I'm Shea Beetle, thank you to my YouTube channel, I am 25 years old. I am a multi-potentialite. I here only to grow and put myself out there to the world. I am an introvert and I am not here to be an influencer. Please like, share, subscribe and leave a comment down below. If you believe there are other questions that I could have answered please leave them down below and I'll answer them maybe in another video or I'll answer them down there in the comment section. Please God. <laughs> please God, not God. <gasps> yes, God. I know you want to come in the midst of this. You're here. You're princess. Accepted. Please guys, please share the video and encourage those you know to subscribe to my channel so we can grow. I'd really, really, really love to get to a thousand subscribers and I cannot do that without your help. I am just one and one can be a thousand. So I'm asking you guys to help me to get to a thousand subscribers. Thank you so much again. Bye. Damn, the video is over?